It hides among the bushes and it lurks among the grass Beside the loch and up the hill it waits for you to pass The one that's first to find you soon will tell three million more And suddenly the swarm descends, each one a carnivore Quite soon they're getting in your hair and always up your nose And in your ears and in your eyes and underneath your clothes They'll suck your blood and soon those itchy spots will start to swell. The spots join up when you're in bed, you'll think you've gone to hell. <laughs> so you'll go and ask the chemist for the latest kind of spray. <laughs> the ladies don't all rush at once. <laughs> and it's tried and tested, even proved to keep the pest away. And plaster down with magic cream. That smells so very bad. You'll flap your arms and run around and act as if you're mad. So you'll buy an head, you'll button up your clothes and buy the famous midgy hood. I've got the Scottish version. <laughs> and it's guaranteed to stop you from becoming midgy food. And save yourself the trouble, for the time will come to pass. When a bitch will crawl right down <laughs> and put you on the knee. <laughs> uh, tourists often wonder why the kilt is seldom seen, and Scottish accents never heard in places they have been. For at winter's end, the Scots all go to Tenerife or Spain, and they leave behind the midges and the cold and wind and rain. <laughs> now I think I've found a cure at last, my itching now has ceased. No longer am I willing to provide a midgey feast, for I've changed my job and moved away to London. I've gone down, cause I reckon even midges could nail live in London. Town. <laughs> 